I was the one who arrested Unizi. He didn't arrest me. Oh, really? Yeah, I arrested him. For what? I was, nah, I was more like kidnapped. The story people saw was like, they kidnapped me, I did that video. Mm. Okay, what happened? When this picture started going viral, mm -hmm. video started going viral, and Instablog posted it, I panicked. I called my mom. Mom, see you. Hey, my mom asked me, okay, don't worry, she knows the guy. His sister is my mom's tenant. She knows Onyezi. Yes. Onye is, right? uh -huh. So she called the sister. The sister gave us the Onyezi number. I saw Onyezi that morning. Okay. I drove to him. I told him, oh, that's sorry, because they were making it look as if I stole his house, um, or I want to, I'm a scammer. Right. So I went to show him that, no, it's just picture. He now told me, okay, go back to the house and do something good. Which I now went back and told them, oh yeah, oh, only has his house, me and people should rest. So when I did that, I went back to my house. Mm -hmm. And after like one hour, that guy I told you who managed the house called me and said, ah, only said he's enjoying the way he's trending. I should come, let's do a video. <laughs> yes, I was about having my back. I was kind of too well. So he uh, begged and begged. I remember I told you he's a stone throw to my, to my house. Yes. So I just wore that gown and then my slippers. Yes, oh, yes, my yes. trending dating. Uh, do you understand? And just yes. strode right. to the place. So when I got into the building, they asked me to see. I was like, where's Onyeze? Let's do this and let's go now. So as I sat on the chair, the next thing, before I could, I was pressing my phone. Before I could raise my head, I saw about five guys. Cuffs, handcuffs, belts, guns. Guns. It was leading me like deja vu. Oh my God, I so so I was like, what's happening? They said, I'm still speaking English. Sit on the ground. So... I'm not gonna lie to you, I wasn't wearing pants because right. I told you I was about having my bath. Yeah. So the first thing that came, and they were just young boys. I said, I don't want to be raped and I don't want to be beaten. So they told yeah. me, sit on the ground. That was when they started making the video. If you notice when I was begging, mm. that was just my vulnerability. Mm. I was like, please stop videoing me. They said, lay down, sit on the ground. They handcuffed me, they started making videos. Mm. So I was not begging. They said, where do you? I don't think I work with them. They said, the IG said they should bring me. I worked directly with the Commissioner of Police in Enugu State. So I was like, okay. Do you understand? So then now one man was talking. I knew that person wasn't the IG because I worked in the police headquarters in Abuja. Mm. So first of all, I was scared. So they enjoyed themselves. They even asked me to bring one millionaire. So I don't have. Then I hadn't seen Onyezi. It was just his boys, per se. So they said, okay, if I don't bring one, they're going to post the video. I was still saying, well, I'm making a no I think, okay, let me give you 500,000. It was when we were still bargaining that Onyezi now drove in with his G guard. So when he drove. G guard, is car? A G wagon. Okay, right, right. I don't know cars. Okay. <laughs> so when he drove in, he came with two police officers. Mm. Immediately I saw the two police officers, I ran to them. I said, mm. please, I work with the police. They looked at me in a strange way and they stepped back. I became more scared. Mm. Because I was the only girl in the midst of this right. guy. So I was expecting the police to at least ask first of all, I was like, this will kill me. What did I do? Mm. That was when he started shouting. You will take me, you 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 can make video, you can make live video here yeah, now. Nah. So the point was like, I just saw you now. <laughs> but I couldn't say that at that point. The shock mm. was like, we just it my mom. So... so I didn't know where the drama was coming from. So he started making calls, calling different people, and when they're going to be criminal. At that point, I was already tired of begging. They asked me to mm -hmm. the humiliation did not even come out on the internet internet because I rode. Mm -hmm. They asked me, I begged uh, at some point I slumped. They gave me water to bring me back. So it was at the process of them making calls, mm -hmm. they now called somebody that knew me. Nobody knew where I was at that point. They had taken my phones and they were enjoying themselves. So it was the girl who recognized me that said, geez. She's coming with her husband. It was mm. only she came with her husband and they came. So she recognized you when she saw the posts. The phone. He oh. was making calls. He called about five girls. Of your people. No. no he was just calling people, people to do what? The almighty blessing. See, I would go. The girls would laugh. They were making they made mockery of me. Yeah. Really? So he was trying to prove that. Yeah. I don't know what they would have said, but I think he was trying to prove a point. Right. So I don't know the discussion he had, had with them. They would have had with people or something. Maybe he heard that, oh, this girl, I don't know what he, but he was calling different people with handcuffs. Raise your hand. I was, I was humiliated. Hmm. Normalize making mistakes so that you can enjoy your life. If you don't normalize making mistakes, you will not enjoy your life. Words of wisdom, if they ever were, from Blessing Okoro, who you know as Blessing CEO. Um, you know, I was just telling her makeup. Um, person, so me the great, so me, not so me. <laughs> let them, let them see her. Let them see so me. Uh, I was just telling so me that um, I like interviewing imperfect people. I like interviewing people who have who have faced major public scandal, who have who have made big public mistakes, who have done things that even they will be like, why did I do something like that? When they've repented, I especially love that. Not because I need the repentance, that's not the important part of it. 
And sometimes even when they've not repented, I like talking to people who have made mistakes because there is a reality, there is a relatability, there is a humility, there is a freedom that you have when the worst has happened to you and you survived it. You know, then you understand that way too. I can keep going in this world even when I've made mistakes. And what she's saying is, you can find a way to have that perspective ahead of time without needing a mistake or a scandal. Then you live without fear. And when you live without fear, joy starts streaming in. Thank you to Blessing for teaching me that lesson.